What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So of course we have a new setup behind me and we're going to be utilizing this to talk about how to read and use level two. It's one of those things you hear all the time. If you're in, if you're kind of in tune to the trading world, you're on stock twits, you're on Twitter, you start following people, you know, it's all in the level two. You got to know the level two. You probably hear that all the time, but what does that actually mean? Well, I want to clarify that and show you guys how that actually can be beneficial to you by actually learning how to read it and using that to your advantage. So let's just jump right in and dive into the level two. Okay, so here we are inside of the computer right now and we have pulled up the Weeble Desktop 4.0 platform. So I'm using this platform, that's what I'm gonna show you guys this on this platform and you can get access to this platform for free like many other platforms, zero commissions. You shouldn't be paying for commissions, especially right now. We're gonna be talking about this guy right here. This is level two market data provided by NASDAQ TotalView. So right now Weeble's doing a promotion where you can actually get your first three months of NASDAQ TotalView for free when you sign up and create an account, deposit $100, you're also gonna get a free stock valued from eight to $1,600. Like always, the links are in the pinned comment and description box down below if you wanna take advantage of that because it won't be around forever. They've really upgraded this platform, so I've liked it a lot. I made a custom layout actually this morning, and we're gonna kind of just use an example here to talk about level two. So what I have pulled up here is I have the order book pulled up, and what you can do is you can always come in here, and there's a section up here, I think it might be cut off, but there's an add widgets little toolbox. You can always come here and you can grab and pull off any widgets you want. And so what I'm actually gonna be showing you guys is I'm gonna be showing you the level two, which you can find right here with you go to the order book section and you can pop one of these guys up right there. So it's pretty easy to do. I'm gonna delete that because I already have it pulled up for right now. So when this is fully customized, I go to the customized section here on the desktop platform. This is how I've created this. Um, and you can create as many different layouts as you want. All you have to do is this little plus sign up here. You have to go to the new layout section um, and you should be able to do that. Sorry if it's cut off really quick, but let's jump now into what does this mean? So I have a lot of things pulled up. Don't get confused, it's, it's really not as confusing as you think, I actually just wanna see these things. This is time and sales, so it's actually gonna be showing you every single trade that goes through the position size um, and what price. And so it's gonna be showing you at what time and all that stuff, so it's pretty cool. So the market is open right now. It is a Friday, we can see it's the 4th of September. So this video is probably gonna come out a little bit later, but it really doesn't really matter. It's gonna hopefully help you guys out. So what we see on the left-hand side is the bid, and then we have the ask here on the right-hand side. So rather than just showing you the surface. So many times you're gonna see on a broker, you'll just see this. You'll see the bid, this is the ask. And that's cool, and that's that's helpful. You can at least see where it is. Um, when the market's closed on certain stocks, you'll see a larger spread, and what does that mean? Well, there'll be a bigger gap in between. So maybe the bid's at like 480 and the ask is at like $5 or something like that, right? There's low volume, something like that. Right now we see the market's open, so of course the bid and ask are generally, for most stocks, going to be pretty tight unless you have a stock that has very low volume to begin with. And so we're looking right here at DVAX. I actually have a position it <laughs> hasn't been going great um, as of late. So I want to see $5 hold, and this is actually gonna be a great lesson for you guys. So. What I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna explain what this stuff is here in a sec. I was watching to see $5 hold, and I put an order in here, I think at 501, um, because I saw something like this. Now I actually saw about a $43,000 size at $5, just a few minutes back. And we can see that we dropped right through $5. So if, we're, if you're going to see something like that, right, what does level two help you do? Well, it helps you to see where the bids are stacking up. So where are the buyers stacking up? Where are their orders set? Where are people you know, looking to enter this stock? Well, right now we see about a $9,000 order or 9,000 share order coming in, now it's gone. So we, we start to see either that got taken out, it got filled, or that person, that person who had that order, took that order away, canceled that order, and, and either just flashed it, it was you know kind of a fake order, you'll kind of get to get a sense as to what I'm talking about here. So now we can see we're dropping through because that order was now gone, that bid was now gone, either it got filled, and what you can do to know if it got filled, you can come in here and see, were there any large orders? And there actually was a pretty decent order of 5,000 that just went through right there. So you can kind of get a sense here with level two, time and sales. I like to kind of use them as a pair just so that what you can do here is now we can see at 480. So now 480, what that's telling me is 480 is a solid support or is the next level of support because we have some, some decent bids stacking up, 11,000 shares, which is a solid, you know, for a stock that's right around five bucks, this is a solid amount of shares, a solid, you know, size. 
So we're going to see, we just had 481 get touched here. And so we can kind of see this kind of live, which I think is really cool to see. So we can zoom in so you guys get a better view here. So we're watching this guy live. We just had 481 touch. And so what does this now, what, what does this really help you with? Well, okay, if you have a position or if you're looking for an entry, right, what it may signal is it, it's going to signal where some areas of support are. Somebody may be looking to get in with a decent position size right in here or has a decent order ready to get filled right in here. So that could be a sign of a support level. If you can't find it based off the charts, if you can't see the support and you're not really sure where the support is on the chart, well, that's a decent area of support right there because if that does get filled, it may not get fully filled, right? Of course, there's a buyer, there has to be a seller. Now it's starting to get filled, it's starting to get eaten up here. So let's see what happens here as we go through. But when there's a buyer, there's gotta be a seller. And so if there isn't enough to match that buyer's order, which now we're seeing, let's see if it holds. We'll see this, if this guy can hold, but we're starting to see it get eaten up. It's going down, it's going down, because now somebody must be selling while somebody's buying, or you have to have it, it's a two-way street here. So this order, if it is, you know, in fact, and of course people can add to it, someone else can come in and somebody else can add to it, or that person can add to that order, and it's gonna change. But this looks like it's not a fake order, right? We can see this is, is holding up there, some of it got eaten up and now we're waiting to see what happens with the rest of it and of course it may now we may see dvax bounce off of this level and make a little bit of a reversal back to the upside now does it have to happen no could it go right down through sure all you need is some got somebody with a big amount of shares to market sell and boom this thing can plummet right through but it's showing me right now this is an area of support based off of the level two. So it's all in the level two. Now you can kind of see what people mean by that. Now, what we also, what I just saw before was I saw a large order. Now, many times when you see a super, super large order, that's like, okay, that, you know, seems like mega money. Many times it's a fake bid or you'll see a fake ask at times. And so what is that showing? That's somebody who doesn't, if it's a fake bid, who doesn't want the stock to get shorted. They don't want the stock price to go below. And so if somebody comes in and sees a massive, massive order sitting at 480, right? What does that tell you? Oh, you know, if someone's trying to get in big. I'm not going to short this stock because there's some significant buyers potentially getting ready to get in. I don't feel comfortable, you know, going against that big time money and then they won't short the stock. And so that's kind of how you can kind of play the mind games and why people might flash up you know, fake bids and fake ass. And of course, fake ass, if a stock is running on up and somebody does not want this stock, let's say to get over 535, it's pushing, it's pushing, it's pushing. Somebody can come in and, and put a massive, and there could be a fake ask at 535. That could be, you know, 100,000 shares or something like that. And that to me signals that maybe, you know, a fake ask and we'll have to see, watch the level two, you watch the time in sales, you know, if that all of a sudden that order, that ask is gone, you know what, that person was trying to, you know, to hold the stock back, right? That could be someone who's trying to hold the stock back. And then if they, you know, if they succeed, they can get people to market sell, they can get people who don't know what they're doing or people who can see that to sell because, hey, they might sell just before that large ask because they now, you know, they know that's an area of resistance. There's a large seller there. Many times, if you see a large seller, if that is actually a true, you know, large seller, it's real, right? It won't, we won't break, the stock won't break up to the upside. It'll just come right back on down. So you can kind of see the mind games that are getting played, but generally though, what you'll see here is now we can see through multiple levels. We're not just looking at the top level. We can see, you know, what's beyond this top level and what do we see down in here that, you know, is showing signs of support and resistance. So where are the sellers stacking up? To be honest here though, we don't really have an area I would say that is like a large seller. So we kind of have some decent orders up from, you know, 483 to, you know, 488 and so on. So what that potentially means here is that maybe if we can break above 488, we can get some more room to the upside. And look at that, we just popped down below. So now we have this, this is getting eaten up here. And since we just popped on it down below and it's gonna show you, you know, what you can also look to is, okay, look at both sides. You know, where are, are there more buying orders? Are there more bids in terms of just looking here? Are there more bids in terms of the position size? than the ass. If there's significantly heavier weight on one side or the other, that's going to show you, you know, potentially buying pressure, potentially selling pressure. And that can be very, very beneficial for you to use and, and really to use that to your, your advantage to say, hey, this stock is running on up right now. 
I'm seeing a lot of buying pressure. I'm seeing larger you know, bids here stacking up here on level two. Then I'm seeing on the ask, I'm seeing a lot of room to the upside potentially because if there aren't many, you know, if there aren't many orders stacking up on the ask, that may mean that there's not many sellers. This is a stock that has a lot of buying momentum and can get some decent buying pressure going forward. So hopefully that is starting to make some sense. And again, this is level two market data provided by NASDAQ Total View. You guys can look up NASDAQ Total View yourself. We both partner up with them. Usually you have to pay for this, um, but it's actually gonna be free for the first three months. Other brokers, you know, you can look to other brokers who have Total View, whatever you want to do. I'm using it here at Weeble for right now, and I think this is actually used to be 25 bucks a month. And I think after that first three months trial, it's like a dollar or two dollars a month. So um, that's what they're saying for right now. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Hopefully that makes some sense. And what we can really see though is, is, is again, you can look to a couple of things. It, it, it's when you hear people say it's all in the level two, it's a helpful tool. It's, it's I think it's a very helpful tool, but it's not always going to be the case where it's all in the level two. So. I wasn't paying attention, I guess, to the to time and sales here, but we did see when we broke down below that 480, we had a big candle. So what does that mean? That means there was a big seller. There's some big selling volume into that, you know, into this little area right here based on these volume bars that we're seeing. So you got to look at a couple different things. It's not just all in the level two. It's a couple different places that you can look to. And I, I think it's pretty helpful. It's pretty beneficial to see, to see this stuff. I think it's really cool. I'm, I'm liking it now. Of course, today we do see on the right hand side where the markets are down. So we got the Dow, we got the NASDAQ, S&P all down. It was down yesterday, it's down again today. And so, you know, it, it, that's, that's also another little tool to kind of add to your arsenal. Okay, why, you know, would this stock drop on down? There's no news today, right? There's no new press release. There's no news for this stock, right? Overall markets going down, selling pressure. We have a long weekend coming up, right? All these things can factor in as to why this bid didn't hold as support, right? As to why the sellers or the shorts are winning the battle, at least for right now. So real quick, make sure you get your free stock down below with a link in the pinned comment and description box. On this channel, I'm actually reviewing all of my swing trades every single week. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those videos. Stay tuned for the next one. Hit the like button and I will see you guys next video.